Open Range Light Model 311 FLR here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And the FLR stands for probably exactly what you would think, front living room. And that makes this RV unique in so many ways that I almost don't even know where to start. Um, that's why I like to put this video together. Every RV is really cool for different reasons. Open ranges are really cool for a lot of different reasons. This is a true lightweight model. If this were conventionally built, it would easily weigh about 3,000 pounds more than its current weight. Yet, yeah, despite its lightweight nature, it is larger. Uh, this is a wide body RV. Most RVs are 98 inches wide. This is a 100 inch wide body design. Uh, so you do get extra interior space. Additionally, uh, many of their slides are extra deep. You'll find things like your primary living room slides in an open range model are 42 inches deep versus 36 in many models. That gives you up to eight inches of extra interior width as compared to a lot of other RVs. Now in the light series, this uh, they have a very unique kingpin on here. And the reason they do this, it, it looks absolutely funny. I'm not even gonna argue with you, but what it does for you is incredible. This is no joke. It does allow you to make a true 90 degree turn on a five and a half foot short bed pickup. Uh, I call that shorter than short bed, the little guys. Uh, you know, you, you can, you don't have to get a big expensive slider hitch. You don't have to spend three grand on your hitching. Now, little things like this I absolutely love. Because there is a slide right above this baggage door, they uh, built the baggage door to drop down. That means it's out of your way. It means that you don't have to juggle it above your head. It means that the door's not gonna kick only like halfway out like this, so you don't have to duck under there. And look at the big basement storage you get in here. That is something most lightweight trailers simply cannot match. Now notice too, it's finished off in here. Everything's finished off nicely. And where you do see things like aluminum, it is welded, it is not bracketed, it's not screwed. Welded is better, stronger, it lasts longer. Welded is the type that you want. Now, these baggage doors are fully insulated and that's one of the reasons even Open Range's ultralight RV series here, the light family fifth wheels and travel trailers are still tested and pass zero degree testing. Every single Open Range RV passes zero degree testing. That is absolutely incredible and there are you could probably count on one hand the other uh, lightweight manufacturers that can make that claim and back it up. It's extremely rare. Now, if you Google, how do I keep my camper steady on my campsite? It's like the million dollar question. However, one thing everybody seems to say is, man, you gotta check out these JT strong arm bracers. They help keep the trailer from wiggling and rocking around and they are fantastic. They do work very, very well. Now construction is an area where obviously this thing is very different, not just because it's wide body, but most lightweight trailers, most trailers with fiberglass skins, you can thump on the sidewalls and yeah, they're, they're nice and solid, but walk over to the sides of the slide out. On an open range, they thump back because even the slide sidewall is fully laminated. And that's one of the areas where you get extra insulation. You also get more rigidity. It keeps that slide square. You don't worry about that slide losing its shape and uh, if the slide loses its shape, if it falls out of square, then you create gaps and you create leaks. That's just not something that you're going to really encounter here. Um, notice that you don't see the, uh, the cheap plastic um, little screw cover over top of your screw trim here. They just don't use it. They use a better product that doesn't do that. That plastic screw trim, when it's brand new, it looks fine, but the problem is when that sun hits it, it starts to cause it to shrink. You know, the sun just really is the, the worst enemy to petroleum-based products like that. And when the sun hits that thing, it will uh, cause it to shrink down and expose screw heads. On most trailers, exposed screw heads are going to cause leaks. These are built differently with different materials. Again, it's just not a problem. Uh, truly, truly fully walkable roof. Um, I believe galvanized steel roof trusses, so I, I, it's, it's got probably a, a, a stronger square footage than uh, at least 50% of the RV industry and equal to or better than the rest still. You see that the rear ladder here is something we put on so you can get to the roof, but it's also removable. So if you don't like the aesthetics, you can take it off and store it in the underbelly. Um, these are pre-prepped with backup cameras and we will often equip these with the wireless backup camera system there. And that it allows you to see everything clearly when you're backing into your campsite. Notice this thing has a pretty good sized power awning too, which a lot of lightweight trailers do not. Again, this isn't trying to be a lot of lightweight trailers. It's trying to be an open range and they're trying to be very good and very upscale. That is why you'll see things like the nicer enclosed underbelly under here. That's another reason this passes zero degree testing. Um, this I love. 
I love the outdoor entertainment center here. A lot of lightweight trailers are starting to offer something like this, but this has a built-in, what, 40-inch flat screen out here? What I like, too, is that it's set a little bit lower, so when you're sitting down at a picnic table at about this level, it's at the perfect viewing height. And when you don't want to watch TV, when you don't need it, it secures out of the way. You can lock the door. People can't get to it. And a big important thing, one of the things that I look at as a testament to how these are put together is the fact that they have twice the warranty of virtually any other lightweight trailer out there. And they are the only one I know of that will offer a transferable warranty in an RV. Um, in this class. Uh, this is something else that's really cool too. This big, big window in the door here. You can get so much light with that, but it also has a, sh a shade so you can pull it down for privacy if you want to. Now, the meat and potatoes of this floor plan, the front living room. Real quick, I wanna mention, things like this interior color scheme, they can vary um, on trailer to trailer. So if the pictures look different from this video, the pictures are likely accurate. This video is here to show you how this thing is shaped and laid out and to tell you the story of the open range and the light. It's not necessarily to say, this is the exact trailer that you are taking home. It's a little different. But this front living room is awesome. Now, front living room fifth wheels have come and gone through the industry for years. If you folks have uh, you know been campers in the past, you remember probably uh, what Shasta and Prowler were some of the first to come up with front living rooms and it never really took off because trucks weren't big enough to support uh, extra slides up front that are really required to make a front living room awesome. However, Open Range now has come out with their lightweight series and they can give you things like this without having an extreme tongue weight in comparison to a conventionally built RV. It means that new floor plans like front living rooms are now a possibility in a fifth wheel, that in, in smaller fifth wheels that were never even possible before. So we have the twin uh, Euro recliners here. Now where these are very different, a lot of Euro chairs have that individual stool. And while it looks really cool, the problem is, what do you do with the stool? It's always in the way. So they built recliners right into this thing. I think they had those custom made. Now this actually has that big window that everyone's looking for in a front living room, but it's up, it's elevated, so you can see the neighborhood. I like that. Their antenna system is a little bit different. Without getting too specific, it kind of looks like a manta ray, but long story short, it just gets better reception. But, it, you know, it costs a little bit more than the, the uh, standard, you know, air quotes, rabbit ears that are on most RVs. That's not what this is about. This RV is not meant to be uh, the cheapest on a per part basis. They're meant to be what gives you the most bang for your buck. What is going to be the greatest for your experience? That's what this is built for. Notice your overhead doors do have struts to hold themselves open. And even supplementary doors like these are still hidden hinge cabinetry. All LED lighting through the entire RV so you don't have to spend time in an RV shop matching up burned out incandescent bulbs. The front sofa here just gives you, it's an elevated sofa too, so it gives you that feeling of being up above things. It gives you a great shot at the entertainment center. And they used every square inch of this RV they could. All this recessed head storage up here, that is up in the nose of the RV. And they even hid things like little power outlets down here so that you can have easy access to like phone chargers and whatnot. So if you're sitting here, you know, in your front living room, this is your, this is the shot that you get when you're sitting up here on the sofa. Pretty darn good. It gives you a nice view of the kitchen. You can, and because they left that open space here, you can still chat with the folks down at the dining table. They really custom engineered every square inch of this thing. Your fireplace is an electric space heater. That'll help keep the uh, chill out of the air, especially up here, which is really nice. But every square inch of this thing has been utilized for storage space. The, uh, um, and, and I do mean every square inch, even behind the television, they opened up for storage. You know, you're paying for the entire RV. Why don't you get to use the entire RV all the time? That's that's the whole idea behind the open range RVs. Um, I do like this extra counter here that they have kind of jutting out. It gives you that perfect armrest and like serving table here for the folks upstairs when you're downstairs. Um, the uh, countertops here, they are an upgraded solid surface uh, resin top basically. What I like about resin tops, it's actually one of my favorite types of countertops and RVs because they, uh, they can't soak water. They can't sweat, they can't mold and mildew. This thing will always be the same as it is today, unless of course you take a knife and gouge it, but that's what your husband's for, ladies. Gouge him with the knife. Don't tell him I said that. Anyway, um, we have residential sprayer type hardware here in the kitchen, and again, you have tons tons of kitchen space. It's, it's shocking and deceptive how much you have. This is one of my favorite things. Little things like this. A spot right here right next to the door. Right next to the door gives you the perfect place to charge your phone and 
you can hear your phone charging right from the outside. So if you're sitting outside, uh, you know, right over here in a, in a, uh, at your picnic table, you can hear your phone ring, come inside and grab it if it's charging, never miss a call. You know, even above your dining table here, we have extra large cabinetry. And notice that they're extremely awesome about putting a, uh, a middle shelf in on very tall cabinets. And you'll see that even over here in the kitchen. And they do that because it doubles your storage space. A lot of lightweight manufacturers like to, they skimp on material to keep their weight down. Instead of using better processes like lamination, instead of using uh, better materials, they, they, they will just cut down on structure. That's the wrong way to build it because you're still paying full price and only getting part of the RV. Now, you have a power ceiling vent fan with a uh, controller right here. Now, what's really cool about that is you can push one button, this fan lid lifts, turns itself on, and with a push of the same button, it closes itself and turns off. You don't have to be 10 feet tall. You don't have to climb up there to get to it. Um, the uh, dining bench right here, you see the, uh, the right next to the table. Now these two chairs are removable. I think these are an option that we've added to these. I've looked at so many trailers and spec lists and they're starting to blur together on me here. But um, there's another chair just like this one that you can fold up and store either under the bed, in the closet, in the underbelly. But it's just a nice hardwood chair you can pull out if you do want four people at the dining table. And when you don't want it, it's out of the way. It gives you back your entire kitchen. So if it's just two of you camping most of the time, you get space made for two. This has a uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer, which is 33% larger than the average lightweight trailer. That is the difference between spending an extra day or two in your RV before you have to go back to the grocery store and restock everything. And again, it's the usability features like this. This has an extremely deep countertop, very generous space. So it would be hard to get to the back of this to try to access every inch of that space, except for the fact that they thought of that. Because it's a narrow space that is hard to get to, they made the space come to you. So you have a pull out pantry. And this is a good way to look at how this is built. This is all plywood. This is not press board and particle board. This is all real wood. Um, here in the slide out, you don't even realize how deep these overhead cabinets are. Actually, here, let me turn this on. There, just to kind of show you how deep these are. Everyone knows how big a cell phone is. You see how small it looks in the back of that cabinet there in comparison to all this space. Um, the uh, devil's in the details. If you look down here, you see that this has an extra little door stop so that your bathroom door doesn't flip, o or pardon me, your bedroom door doesn't flip open and smash the wall over here. We have uh, a nicer porcelain stool here, not plastic, foot flush. We have plenty of space in the bathroom to actually get dressed. Try to change your clothes. Try to put on a pair of pants in a lightweight RV. You will probably either hit your head on that countertop or you will fall down or both, I don't know. Now, because the bathroom is on the lower level of this fifth wheel, you will not ever, ever have a problem with having uh, not enough headroom in the shower here. Uh, you see, because th this uh, ceiling is what? Eight feet tall, maybe more? Unless you're a Guinness World Record holder for t world's tallest man or woman, you're not even gonna have to worry about that. And again, every square inch of space is precious. That's why they open up every square inch that they possibly can in here. Your bedroom is fantastic. It has a very, I don't know, zen-like feeling. There's just something very cool. And uh, there's some good feng shui going on here, I guess is an easy way to describe it. And I think a lot of it is, there's a lot of windows in here. There's a lot of light. It lets in a lot of, um, you know, I don't want to sound too much like a hippie, but a lot of positive energy back here. <laughs> that still sounded too hippie-like. Anyway, not that there's anything wrong with being a hippie. Some of my good friends are hippies, but hey, they say some funny things from time to time, but so do I, so how am I any different? Anyway, um, across from the bed, we have some extremely generous dresser space, and you see that that goes all the way across over here. You have individualized his and hers wardrobe closets, one on each side, and again, with that very zen-like appearance, the way it just sort of appears and disappears in front of you, with yet more space in here. Um, the uh, wall up here is designed to have a flat screen mount installed right there. So if you do want a TV in your bedroom, you can have it. And again, this, this RV just does everything. It's, it's lighter in weight than, than really any other front living I have ever seen. It offers ideal couples camping with the ability to expand for when friends come over. Um, it includes an air mattress that uh, you can inflate and, and toss up here on the upper deck. 
But what's nice is it's not the, the cheap RV airbed that has been used for so many years. It's the actual Aerobed brand, the original. It's a residential airbed. It's not the kind that tend to go flat on you. There are so many cool aspects of this floor plan, so many unique shapes and characters that nothing else will ever show you. That's why we really like these open ranges. There is nothing else like them. It's wide body. It's still lightweight. It's lighter weight than non-wide body trailers. You get more trailer per square inch with this than, uh, or I, uh, I don't know, anything else. More trailer per pound. I'm sorry. You get more square foot of trailer per pound than anything else. There we go. It only took me three times to get it out. All right. It sounds like I better wrap this up. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halen RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.